Spanish paper. Somebody broke into the museum last night and stole that early Spanish painting, the one believed to be in El Greco. What a shame, before I even had a chance to see it. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about it, Henry? Henry, did you hear me? Come have your breakfast, dear. Your coffee's getting cold. Henry? Henry? What's keeping him? I better take a look. It was late afternoon of the same day at Homicide Police Headquarters. Coroner's report says the bullet was a lead ball fired from an antique handgun. And the victim's left ear was sliced off by a sharp blade of some kind. Yeah, and pinned to the body to get over the note reading, this is only the beginning. Beginning? Beginning of what? Who knows? All I know is we got a real psycho to deal with. To go to plain, ordinary, everyday, made in the USA kind of nuts on and up. Hello, Corelli here. What? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I'll be right over. Well, he wasn't kidding about the beginning. You mean? Right. Our psycho got himself another pinup boy. The next morning at an art lecture at the university, one cannot help but admire certain achievements of the Aztecs. The temple pyramids, aqueducts, public buildings, and causeways. Mr. Parker. Huh? What? Oh! Mr. Parker, forgive me for this rude interruption of your siesta. <laughs> but in the interest of art, and with your kind permission, I should like to continue this lecture, if I may. Oh, sure. Go right ahead. <laughs> Thank you. To continue, consider now the famous Aztec calendar stone. A primitive yet ingenious concept for measuring time based on astronomical calculations. Well, it seems like time here has run out. In more ways than your primitive minds could ever imagine. I shall continue with this subject on Monday. Uh, Professor Corman? Yes? Professor, I'm Captain Corelli, Homicide, New York Police. What can I do for you, Captain? We're trying to find out if there's any connection between the theft of a painting from the museum two days ago and the murder of three prominent New Yorkers which follow. Three? I only heard about two. Oh, uh, what are you doing here? I'm taking Professor Cordovan's course. Saw you come in. Uh, you said three murders? Who's the third? H. Llewellyn Fitzwilliams, art collector. Just happened, sometime before dawn this morning. Hmm. The second was Cyrus M. Talborn, art critic. Right. And the first was Henry Wallingford Jones, curator of the museum. I heard about the last two. Most tragic. As assistant to Mr. Jones, I was closely associated with him. A fine gentleman. I am devastated. You and he appear to be the only ones to have actually seen the stolen painting, the El Greco. Uh, can you tell us anything about it? Indeed I can. First of all, it was not an El Greco, but the work of an unknown 16th century artist. Then it isn't particularly valuable. Oh, I should say it's worth no more than a thousand dollars, perhaps two. Well, there goes my theory about a million dollar ransom demand. Say, tell me, Professor, whose portrait was it? Uh, anyone important? Not particularly. Uh, just a soldier in the army of Cortez, conqueror of Mexico, entitled the Conquistador. Wow. The look in his eyes when he said that. And why is my spider sense tingling all of a sudden? Well, thanks anyway, Professor. Even though it leaves me where I was, right back on square one. Suddenly, Professor, you interest me. And if the captain doesn't call on you, someone else will. Namely, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> Late that night in the dim-lit ballroom of the run-down old mansion where Professor Corrigan lives alone. Look at this place. Looks more like a museum than home sweet home. All those old paintings on the wall and suits of armor standing all around it. Uh-oh, here comes somebody. Well, bless my buttons and call me Columbus. Look at that. Professor Cordovan, all dressed up like a Spanish knight of old. Suit of armor, helmet, sword and all. He stopped in front of that painting. Can't quite make out what it is. What do you know? A life-size portrait of the conquistador. And will you look at that? 
He's a dead ringer for the professor. History will recall that you, my noble ancestor, crushed the inferior races of Mexico like insects beneath your feet. For the greater glory of Spain. He's talking to the picture. But it will further record that I, Ricardo Don Diego de Cordovan, officer in the army of the great Cortez, will conquer all the Americas. Bravo, Don Diego. Spider-Man. And just how does the great conquistador plan to do that little thing? You dare mock the conquistador? He really believes that's who he is. He's flaky as a flea on a flagpole. Uh, no offense, or, uh, Excellency? Uh, just curious as to your plan of conquest, since you already know more than is good for you. It will not matter if you know the rest. In a series of brilliantly planned executions, I shall remove the leaders of your decadent society and proclaim myself Governor General. You're so modest, Excellency. I have already eliminated three who scoffed at my dreams. So you're the pinup killer. Executioner, not killer. And now, by order of El Conquistador, you, Spider-Man, are next. He's out of his tree. Do you prefer the sword or a bullet in the head? I'll take vanilla, if you don't mind. Insolent dog. Then die the death of a dog. You missed, Excellency. With that ancient pistol, you couldn't hit City Hall at ten paces. Then the sword of Cortez will silence that foul tongue. Naughty, naughty. I think I better take that pig sticker away from you with my special pig sticker remover web shot number 13, like this. Now, why not give up on this project and come with me to a nice, friendly neighborhood psychiatrist and the ultimate insult. But disarmed and dishonored, I have no choice but to surrender. That's better. Here, take my hand and we'll walk out together. Uh, oh, aha! Uh -huh. And now with my bare hands, I shall crush the life from your worthless body! Oh, I sure goof this time. He's got the super strength of a madman. And with all the spikes on his armor, I'm done for if I don't get loose. Fast! I feel weak. I gotta make one last... Oh, three. That's bad. There is no escape for you, Matazuma. Matazuma? He's living the 16th century all over again. You shall die, and your Aztecs shall be my slaves, serving the glory of Spain for a thousand years. He's completely mad. Gotta end this mercifully right now with my extra strong 18x webbing like so. I kill you, I kill you, save, I kill you, I kill you. Yeah, Corelli here. Oh, Dr. Rialdo. Yeah. Hmm, yeah, too bad. Okay, thanks for the call. Uh, what's the word, Captain? You again, Parker. Don't you do anything but hang around police stations and cut out paper dolls. Temper, temper, Captain. Must control myself. Ah, okay. You can tell your editor that Professor Cordovan has been pronounced hopelessly insane. Then the case of the conquistador is closed, right? Right. And now, will you leave me in peace, please? Sure, Captain. I only aim to please. Uh, uh, uh.